Hello, it's V Day 30, and today's vlog will be interesting. <laughs> I'm tired. She's energetic, and uh, <clears throat> if you look at this, she's dead. <coughs> I hope so. <laughs> and someone's drilling. Looks like some somebody do, doesn't like the fact that someone's drilling in this building. <coughs> so I'm tired, she's sick, and the little one's something. <sighs> but let's see what I can do. Hopefully I can do something. Just a peaceful home night. Oh, yeah. And once again, I'm a bad guy here. I feel very, very frustrated. Because, as you saw, my wife's sick. And earlier today, she promised our daughter that they would be listening this nursery rhyme CD for bedtime. And she wasn't feeling all that good so she promised our daughter that daddy will listen to CD with you so of course the little one got all excited and that we'll be go we'll be going into her room and she'll be in her bed and I'll be sitting next to her bed and then we would turn off the lights and there are these star shaped stickers that glows that glow in the dark on her uh, rooms ceiling or the roof so would we would be listening that nursery rhyme CD in starlight and that's a beautiful thought and a beautiful image being there the problem is and was but my wife didn't ask me about it before she made that promise. And I have plans for tonight. I couldn't stay home. Because our daughter goes to bed at 8. And I have to be out from the apartment at 8. Taking care of my own stuff. So I can get to bed at least in some decent, decently time. So now, now I'm the bad guy here for letting my daughter down. So here's a small tip for you. If you're a parent, don't make any kind of promises if it's not you who gets obligated. I'm not sure if that's the right word. But don't give your children any kind of promises if it's not going to be you who's going to keep that promise. This is one of those days I would like to forget, all in all, in total. I hate these kind of things. If parents are on the different ends of the rope, the result will be just this meaningless, meaningless tug of war where no one wins and it's always the child who loses. I don't think I should be talking stuff like this in a public vlog but take this as an educational video where the bottom line is that don't make any promises to your children if you're not the one who's going to keep them or if you do before you make that promise talk to the talk with the person whose duty it is to keep it and when we're talking about children, it is a duty. And the reason why I'm taking it so, so damn seriously is that when I was a kid, there was a period when I was asking my dad, can we go fishing? Can we play this? Can we do that? And the answer was all, almost always the same, someday. 
someday we'll do that. But someday never came. So I stopped asking. And that's one of the reasons why I feel that I don't really have a father. I have a dad. I mean, yes, he's my biological parent. But I don't, I don't feel that I have a father. I have a dad. The things I can remember most clearly or the events, happenings that I can remember most clearly were the disappointments and the promises that just were just promises if you see what if you see what I mean they were just promises and it's easy to promise something but keeping that promise it's a whole nother thing. So that's why I want to make sure that if, if there's a promise that's been given to a child, that promise is there so it can be fulfilled. It's not there just to make your children happy. When you say that, yay, next summer we'll be going to Disneyland or whatever or someday we'll go to Hawaii. But if that someday never comes, that can't be something that parent, for, parent had forgot that, that they even gave that promise. But a child won't forget. Even when she or he is 50 years old that inner child hadn't forgot and I know that some of you have children and I hope that you realize what I'm saying and I hope that you are doing the things that I'm talking about right now. Don't promise anything just to get something. Keep that, make that promise so you can keep it and give something. That probably sounded a bit messy, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. And as I said, I'm not sure if I should even put this part of the vlog out there in public and release it. But probably I'm going to insert this into V-Day 30, which is today. Because that's something that's important for me. And I hope that you have realized this when you first had children or had a child the promises are not toys quite a speech there's a fair share of personal bitterness what comes to this subject and uh, I don't think I can end today's vlog with the high note because all in all this has been just a one draining power sucking day but this is life, not a soap opera. So, until tomorrow. See ya!